Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I found this week at thrift stores and yard sales. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And as always, find me on Instagram at Nicole Marth Garden. Here we go. bag of a haul today. I have a few things that I found. Yard sales are pretty much winding down here, but I did um, stop at two sales this week and found a few things, which I'll show you. Um, and then I also have some thrift store items. And then I have some items that were given to me by a fellow thrifting friend and YouTuber. She is one of my very good friends. Her name is Amy over at White Lab House. I will link her channel down below. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that she got for me this week. Okay, let's start off. I have three things from the week that I'm going to list on my Etsy shop and then everything else you see um, will be for me. So I'm going to start with the things that I'm going to list. Okay, I found another frog. <laughs> I thought he was really cute. It's a bank. He has his plug. I got him at Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for him and he's marked 1981. It looks like maybe someone, you know, I don't know, made him at a ceramics thing, but I thought he was pretty cute and people have liked frogs that I've put up. So I thought I would see if anyone wants him. And I like the glaze on him. I thought it was kind of pretty. Then I found two um, art pottery plates and I looked up this studio. It's called Chamberlain Art Studio. It's still open, um, but it's been around since the 90s. And from what I can tell and ones I saw on Etsy, these are from the 90s. So they're basically like crab plates. They were originally sold with a crab um, dip recipe in them. Obviously I don't have the recipe anymore, but I thought those were cute and pretty if someone does like seaside decor. Um, and I paid, they're marked $2.99, I paid 20% off of that. So I paid about $2.40 for each one. Okay, and that's all as far as what I'm going to list um, newly on my Etsy shop. Now I'm going to move on to the few things that I found at yard sales. This was the one thing I left in my car. I told you about it last week. It's just a big candy jar. It's not vintage or anything. It, I paid a dollar for it, but um, I got it because I'm going to use this to store, you know, I've been picking up like vintage trims and they're really pretty, but right now they're in a bin in the closet and I can't enjoy them that way. Um, I do use them also. So I thought maybe I could put um, most of them, I think will fit into this size container. And then I can also see them when they're not in use. I don't mind seeing some of my craft supplies because some things are just pretty. Uh, I'm not the type of person that needs to have everything like away and out of sight. I'm, I'm not a minimalist if you haven't noticed. <laughs> okay, and then I got this. Uh, I'm gonna do a video about this. I don't know if anyone else struggles, but my nightstand is just a mess. It's always a mess and I'm trying really hard. I always tell my husband to be a better roommate because our, like, the rest of our house is pretty neat, but I have something about my nightstand. It's just, ugh, I can't seem to keep it clean. So anyway, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna spray this white and um, that, it actually looks bigger on camera than it is. It's not that huge, but I'm gonna put this on my nightstand and I thought it might help to corral some of the junk that seems to accumulate because I'm not gonna have a clear nightstand. Like I, I, I need to accept that fact. So now knowing that there will be some clutter on my nightstand, how can I best corral it? So that's what I'm gonna use that for. And I actually bought this, uh, I stopped at a yard sale, which wound up being at someone's home that I knew. She had $5 on it, and because I knew her, she gave it to me for two, and I thought that was a really nice deal, because it's really heavy. Then I got these for 25 cents a piece. One, two, three, four, five, and I just thought they would be cute for DIYs. If I don't use them all, I might, remember I told you I'd like to upcycle some things and sell them in my Etsy shop? This might be one of the things that I do, like if I do some kind of Christmas floral thing in it or something, I might upcycle these and sell them on Etsy with, with like, you know, um, an arrangement or something. I, don't, I haven't decided yet, but anyway, those are 25 cents a piece. And also at a yard sale, I got some craft supplies. So I got this ribbon, which I thought was really pretty. Um, what does it say? Some, I don't know, it has words on it, but I just thought it was pretty. And then I got these, which I know I'll use in a craft project. I have my coffee this morning in an oofda mug. <laughs> 
I thought some of you might appreciate that. Ufta is a, an exclamation, I think it's Norwegian, not entirely sure, but it's basically saying like, oh, or oy vey is what we used to say out east, which we got from Yiddish. Um, but it's just basically an exclamation of exasperation. So oofta. So if you ever hear me say oofta, that's what I mean. So anyway. Now I'll move on to the things I bought for myself at thrift stores this week. So I got two vintage Christmas items. You know, I like shaped candles. So here's a little reindeer. Thought he was really cute. And he looks cute with some of my Santas that I collect. And then I got this little set of carolers. And it's, I don't know, the studio is Debbie Peterson. It has a phone number on it. And I paid 99 cents for this. So that was cute, and that'll look cute on some tiered trays. And I got this. You heard me mention in my friend mail haul, I got something cool that was Holly Hobby. It's a Holly Hobby cake mold. It's adorable. It's definitely going on my wall. It is from, it's well, it says copyright 1975, so that's the Holly Hobby copyright, but I know this has definitely been around a while, and I paid $2 for it at Goodwill. I went to Arc Value Village. I ran in this week and I got myself this bunny mug. I had previously bought one of these for my daughter. It's shaped like an elephant. The studio is Yokohama Studio. I really like these mugs. And so I'm gonna start collecting these. And just so you know, when I got this, I came home and I got rid of four other mugs in my cabinet. So I am keeping my collection corralled onto things that I like better because I think you should love the things that you have. And if you stop loving things, you should get rid of them. So I got rid of four mugs. Okay. And then I also got myself a shirt. Oh, I went to this other new thrift store called the Assistance League of Minnesota. They do great work. And I found this shirt. It's by Chico. And their shirts were all half off the day that I went. So it was Mark 9, which is a little bit much, but I paid $4.50, which I thought was really good. It's in really good shape, and they do very good work. So I didn't mind paying a little more. I got this also at Assistance League. I showed this on my Instagram. I love deer, and I haven't found any in a while. Uh, I especially love, like, flock deer, and so I have a little collection of those, um, which I'll put out for the fall. And I'm going to put this little deer out with them. So I have a little woodland creatures thing going on in my fall decor. I'm gonna put this with those woodland creatures. And then this is by Rock Hard Pottery Studio and it has a phone number. It's a Minneapolis area code. So I'm guessing um, that's who made that. All right, and then also at thrift stores for myself, I got this little piece of pottery, um, ceramic, sorry. And you know, I probably, it's a baby. It's for a baby, I mean. It's a stork, but I love the color and it goes with some of the other pieces. I just, I'm into like the pink glaze in this room. So, um, you know, this is a California pottery. It's not quite the same color, but it's close enough that I really like the way that they look together. So I got this to keep in this room. I will, I was going to put a succulent in it, but succulents need sun and where it is going to be, it's a little blocked from the sun. So I'm probably going to do some faux succulents in there. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I got from other people. I'll show you what my friend Amy from White Lab House got me, but first I forgot my friend Jonathan. Um, he's one of my best friends and he found this in his building. People were just getting rid of stuff. I love this frame. It's missing like it's back here, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm going to do something crafty with it. I just think it's really pretty. So that was for free. And then my friend Amy from White Lab House, she goes to the bins a lot. If you haven't seen her channel, you should. It's just starting up, but um, she's super sweet, one of my best friends. And so she found several things for me at the bins. She goes to the bins a lot, more than I do. And so because of that, she finds like really cool stuff. So she found for me these two wall hangings of ducks. I love ducks. You know, I love ducks, nature, birds. This one's my favorite. Look at the mama duck with the babies. So, so cute. So she got me those two items. And then, man, she knocked it out of the park with some, like I was going through the things she got me and I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It was a wonderful haul. 
So she got me this bowl in, you know, my favorite color. So that was cool. It's an enamelware bowl. It's um, Formation is the brand. It's not vintage, but it looks vintage. And that's all I care about. And then she got me this vintage ice cream tin. Oh my goodness, I love this. Kemp's is a brand from here in Minneapolis, Marigold Foods Incorporated, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is going to be amazing in my 4th of July decor next year. I'm going to do a big um, floral arrangement in it. I think that's fantastic. She also picked up for me this tin. And it's a double-decker bus. And it says, Every Housewife's Choice Miraglow Furniture Cream. And it actually held, like, food. Um, Scottish biscuit. So it's a reproduction, but I think it's adorable. And I'll probably use that in 4th of July decor or maybe Christmas. Hmm, not sure. I love tins, you know. And then she got me this. Oh my goodness. Look at this Christmas square. It's like a square piece of fabric. I can't get it all into the shot, but I think it's so pretty and vintagey. It has a little stain there, but that's fine. I will get that out. I love this fabric. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And look at the edging. It's really pretty. Then she also got me, oh my gosh. Now what's so funny is I had just seen some of these at a thrift store and they wanted like $15 a piece and she got this at the bins. It's a vintage apron. I think it's so cute and it's going, it, it hangs. I took it down to film it, but it hangs on that hook back here with my, my crafting apron, um, which I was telling Miss Stone Home, I have been wearing a crafting apron and saving my clothing and I got that idea from her. <laughs> That's my crafting apron, and then my vintage apron just hangs with it because it looks cute. And then Amy also got me this adorable change purse, per, you know, kind of purse thing. And this is going to go in the craft room here. I think it's so cute. I use some of these, like, for different craft items. Like, I have one that has all my knobs in it. And, um, but this one's going to have something in it, but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit it out because I love the colors in it. And it goes perfectly in this room. And then one last thing. Oh, my goodness. She got me this bag of, holy cow, I love these little wooden angels. They are so adorable. Look at these. And there's like a lot of them. These are going to be wonderful for crafting, Amy. Oh my gosh, I love these. And they're all playing different instruments. And then there's this little tree. <sighs> I love these. I just, just love these. Oh my gosh. I think that might be, these might be my favorite thing this week. I love these so much. Okay. So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for sitting here and watching what I got at thrift stores and yard sales this week. If you've liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And as always, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden, where I share things that I thrift uh, earlier before I actually show them in videos or I show things that I leave behind. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.